What's up, everybody? This is Scott from NoLoveToMetal.com, and it's time for another Memorabilia Minute. Memorabilia Minute is where I take a minute, two, maybe three, and share a little bit about a piece of memorabilia out of my collection. Well, maybe a funny story about it, maybe, you know, some history about it, something. This Memorabilia Minute is about dirty looks. Um, back when I was in college, I was a sophomore in college, 1986 was the year, I believe, and uh, I had a roommate named Fred. Um, and on the very first day of college, you know, you get this roommate you don't know, and uh, ended up we were both metalheads, like all kinds of metal from, you know, the heaviest stuff there was in 86, uh, right down to, you know, more glammy stuff. So, you know, just a lot of metal. Um, I think we bonded over Dio at the time. But regardless, um, Fred came from uh, Pennsylvania, I came from New Jersey, and uh, we were in school in New York, and uh, he, he turned me on to this new band. He bought this um, album that I'd never heard before by a band called Dirty Looks called In Your Face. This is that album. He actually brought it on cassette. And myself, my roommate, and, my, and another friend of mine named Ken, who was also at the school, um, we all just really dug him. And um, when Fred went home for the Christmas break, he, we, uh, we sent him with a bunch of money home so that he could all pick us off all copies of the cassette. And he brought us all back cassettes of In Your Face. And we played that record over and over and over again. Well, I was actually going to school in Rochester, and it ended up that, that Dirty Looks you know, moved to Rochester, and that became like their hometown. Um, playing, you know, places like the Penny Arcade and all that kind of places. Um, but in any case, the reason I'm sharing that is because i um, a huge fan of Dirty Looks. Um, several other albums behind me. Um, and I want to share a few pieces of memorabilia, but one in particular um, is uh, some promo photos, Dirty Looks. Um, the main man behind Dirty Looks is right here. That's Henrik Ostergaard. And, um, you know, I, I never got to meet him in person, but uh, through my noawesomemetal.com website, um, I started talking to him back and forth through email. Um, well, it wasn't a, you know, a big deal. We were just talking music, and he was telling me about his new releases that were coming out. And then um, one day in 2010, he contacted me, told me he was recording a, a new album called I See You, which I have right here. I See You. And, um... I said, great, I'm gonna I'll order a copy. He said, no, he said, you know what? He said, Could I, can you call me? And I said, sure, and I, sh I shot him my phone number through the email. He said, I really wanna to talk to you about something. Sure, give me a call. Um, kind of shocked to hear that, you know, a guy in a band like Dirty Looks that I've you know, liked since I was a, a kid in college uh, wanted to talk to me, so yeah, call me. So sure enough, I sent him my phone number and not long after, and, uh, he gave me a, a call. And um, surprisingly, he wanted to know a little bit about my faith. Um, and we talked on the phone about uh, how he had become a Christian and he wanted to know how to balance. You know, I'm a Christian in, in, in a rock and roll band and uh, he said, and it's easy to fall into the trappings of, you know, some of the things that a lot of other rock and roll bands are into and, and he wanted to just know my opinion on some of those things and we just chatted on the phone for a long time so uh, the piece of memorabilia I really wanted to share was this. Now, at the time, apparently, Henrik was sick. And he didn't tell me he was sick. I didn't know that on the phone. Um, but soon after, you know, our phone conversation, he sent me this. And I'm not sure how well this is going to translate onto the video, but all it is is a little letter, and it says, Thanks for taking the time to talk, Henrik. And he autographed it, signed it. And inside of that was also the ICU CD, which he didn't make me purchase. He sent it as a, as a free gift. And um, I was shocked to find out on um, January 27, 2011, that Henrik had passed away um, under hospice care. Um, but, you know, it brings a lot of comfort to me, knowing that um, he took comfort in, in, in his faith in Christ, and that uh, he actually took, uh, he actually talked to me about it. And uh, that little letter with that little note on it is something that, you know, it's not some expensive piece of rock and roll over here, but it's something that means a whole lot to me and something that, of course, that I will hold on to probably until I die. So, um, there you have it. Memorabilia Minute, Dirty Looks. Uh, playing in the background is Dirty Looks, by the way, in case anybody's wondering. So that's it. God bless. Stay strong.